Hello you lovely people and welcome back to my channel Cook with Joy. For today's video I'm doing two very simple recipes using dates. I love this dessert recipe that my daughter made. I think she might have seen it like on TikTok or Instagram Reels, but it's a very simple and somewhat healthy dessert option. And so I thought I would share that with you. But since these are really simple recipes, I decided to do two different date recipes. And the other one I'm going to be doing is a um, kind of like an appetizer. It is a bacon wrapped date and goat cheese sort of situation. So let me show you how I put these together, but first let me show you all of the ingredients and then we will get into these recipes. Okay, for this first recipe, you will of course need some dates. You will need a peanut butter or really nut butter of your choice. We just like to use peanut butter, uh, peanuts, and then chocolate chips, which you will be melting. For the second recipe, you will again need dates. You will need bacon, and then some fresh goat cheese, and then you will want to have some toothpicks to secure these dates together. Okay, for this first recipe, I am actually gonna go ahead and cut the dates in half. I think the original recipe is you just like score it and open it a little bit and kind of stuff the date. But I feel like I would like it better if it wasn't so datey. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these in half and then we'll open that up and fill it with the peanut butter. Um, I am going to kind of chop the nuts roughly, add those, melt the chocolate, and drizzle it on top. But let's get into doing this. I did forget to mention when I melt chocolate chips, I do like to put a little bit of coconut oil, which is what is in this jar, in with it. So that is why I'm putting a little bit of coconut oil in there. I just like doing that when I melt chocolate chips. I just stuck those in the freezer that way they can harden really quickly and while those are hardening I'm gonna go ahead and work on my second date recipe and these are also really simple it's just basically again I'm gonna cut them in half and then stuff them with the goat cheese wrap a piece of bacon around it and the original recipe that I found you actually cook them in the oven but I think I'm gonna cook mine in the air fryer. So um, I'll go ahead and get these assembled and stuck in the air fryer and we'll see how they turn out.
Okay, you lovely people. I, of course, am going to give these a taste test, but before I get into that, I just wanted to let you know that the uh, bacon-wrapped dates did need more time than five minutes. I just wanted to do it in small increments to make sure I didn't overcook them. I put them in for a total of 15 minutes. I will um, say that down in the description box below. I'm not gonna give exact measurements because it kind of depends on how many dates you want to make you can change this according to however many dates you would like to make how full you want to stuff them how much chocolate you want to put on the dessert dates and so forth um, but I will be sure to say how long I cooked the bacon wrapped dates for but before I get into giving these dates a try. I did wanna talk a little bit about the fact that dates are a really healthy food choice. And it's great because they are a good alternative to just plain sugar. Um, like I mentioned with the dessert dates that I made, um, it didn't require extra sugar. There's obviously a little bit of sugar in the chocolate chips that I used, but otherwise there was no additional sugar. Um, and the peanut butter I used was all natural, so no sugar in that as well. So it's a good sugar alternative. In addition to this, dates actually have antioxidants and they are also high in fiber, making this a really great heart healthy food for you to choose. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share some of those benefits of dates if you didn't know that. Um, they are very naturally high in sugar, so yes, it does have a high sugar count. The dates are not for if you're on a low sugar, no sugar keto diet, um, but they are a great alternative to just uh, using pure sugar in your desserts. Um, one other thing I will mention is dates are a great thing to add to protein shakes because it does add that extra sugar, the extra fiber, and the antioxidants. So I just wanted to let you know about that before I give these a try. Okay, I think I'm going to start with the savory date and I'll show you. Mm. Okay, let me give this a try. <laughs> Mmm, oh my goodness. Mmm. Wow, that is so good. I actually thought about adding, I have some spicy like jalapeno jam, and I thought that that might be good in here, but I wonder if it would make them too sweet, because this is already very sweet. Mmm, so good. Okay, next up, I'm gonna give the sweet one a try, the dessert one. I have heard these as described as kind of like Snickers because the date mimics that nougat caramel sort of flavor or texture, and then the peanuts and the chocolate. Mm. So let's give this a try. Mmm, also very good. Mm, dates are just good. Okay, you lovely people, that is all for this week's recipe video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made these two dates recipes. Please let me know down in the comments if you are going to give this a try. And I did wanna mention also, I do have an Instagram page in conjunction with this YouTube channel. In case you didn't know that, it is just cookwithjoy.yt, so you can follow me over there as well. But as always, I really appreciate you watching this video until the end, and I will see you next time. Bye.